think it might be up here somewhere. Let's let's try there and take another look at that map. See if there's any roads on it. Uh, let's have a look. There is a road. There's two roads. And it's slap bang in the middle of the two roads. Okay. Hey, good evening, Big Duck. How's it going? Yeah, having a fine evening here. Thanks. How about you? With that much money, you should be able to buy a washerwoman to follow you around and keep things clean. That's a good idea, Captain Mercado. I can do with my own little trail of peasants, I think. I think so. Which was I looking at? Okay. Two roads. Bang in the middle. Was I right? Two roads. Two roads bang in the middle would be about there. So let's let's go and wander through the woods up there. All right. We've got purpose. We're going treasure hunting tonight. It's going to be good. Hi, Zarias. How are you doing? Yeah, I enjoyed looking at those treasure maps that we had last week so much that I thought we're going to do a bit more of that tonight. And also because the loot out of them is really good and it's going to help me do other stuff in the game, level other things up, the reading books in particular. So, let's go find some loot. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're well sorted now. I think we're well equipped. No zombies today. Good. <laughs> oh, that zombies game. There were bits of it that were funny that made me laugh out loud. But that was more, I think, to do with because I was playing in co-op with, with TC. The bit that really sticks out in my mind was the bit where um, I ran that bear over with the jet ski, the zombie bear. That, that was pretty good. Just as I went over the jump and I took the bear with me under the jet ski. I like that bit. But overall, that game does leave a lot to be desired, unfortunately. So we're out. Freely cantering across the open fields. Looking for roe deer as well. Roe ro deer here would be absolutely fantastic. Oh, I found a camp. I've just stumbled right into a camp. Is no one home? Really? Where are the bandits if I clean them out? What weapons have I got here? Uh, piercing arrows. Better piercing arrows. There's no one asleep in there that I can see. I wonder if I've killed these guys at some point. Or maybe they're just waiting on a road in ambush somewhere. What's in their chest? Well, I haven't picked, I haven't been in the camp, that's for sure. They're going to be so upset if they come back here and I've eaten their food. <laughs> That's what's in their chest, is it? All right. Um, I'll take the salt because that might have uses. No flamethrowers either. I know. I know. I could poison their food, but then knowing my luck, I'll probably stop here on my way back. <laughs> Looking for a bite to eat. I'm really surprised. I, I don't remember killing bandits in this region. I just don't. So anyway, I do have a marker. Wait, hang on. This is it, I think. I think this is it. Oh, well, one of these maybe. An old wreck building, an interesting site. Can we go in? We can. And... Yep, this is it. Let's get the torch on. Where's the torch gone? Torch. No, I don't want the sword out, Henry. Put the sword away. I just want the torch. This is the place to be. I'll just have some of those cave mushrooms as we're going through. I hate how you have to be pixel perfect for picking up um, herbs and stuff. The moment I just dirtied my pants was pretty good. Which was that? In, was that with the wolverines? Because that was... This is annoying. Why can't I pick up that cave mushroom? Crouch. That's That's got it, has it? Give me the mushrooms. Give me the mushrooms. 
Got him at last. Totally not worth the bother. But... Wow, that guy's proper had his head stoved in. Nice. Yeah, I've had a few frights on stream recently. The Wolverine situation last night. Uh, oh, the leveling lockpicking. Awesome stuff. And that running to that priest in the monastery. Oh my god. Augsburg plate shore seas. Did I just... I didn't just buy some new leg armor, did I? Please tell me I didn't just buy leg armor. Because that would really, really upset me to think I'd spent a load of money. I bought something that was expensive. Right, so we've got that. A load of Groshen. Some very good noble shoes, which we shall sell. An odd die. I've got a few loaded die now. Recipe for antidote. Who needs a key three? And a U longbow. Excellent stuff. Quest started. Quest started. What? What is a friend indeed? Find out how. Oh, find out how Fritz and Matthew are doing. Nothing to do with this hole down here then. It's just that. Uh, those were my buddies that we found work for. So that's cool. That's an interesting little site down there. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it is just a random bandit camp, but I must have. I must have killed the guys, unless they're out on patrol somewhere in the woods. Could be that. Could definitely be that. Right then. Put that away. Cool. That. Well, that was pretty damn quick. One, oh god, which ancient map was that? Was it treasure map one? It was. That can go straight on the horse then. Anything on the horse is done. Treasure map number four. Ledechko. Which way is north on that? Well, I'm guessing that's back towards Ratai then. Oh yes, it is. I can see the road to Ratai. Well, that's not quite the direction we want. This is one closer. The Dechko, there we go. Somewhere in those woods in that bend of the river. I'll just make sure there's nothing closer. Ratai Neuhof. Loads near Ratai Neuhof. Ratai. Loads. <laughs> loads over there. So, this is the one. Treasure map 11. Get the map on. It's just over. Just in here somewhere. So we're going to go we'll plunk the X down there over the bridge. And those two numpties are in Ratai, aren't they? My two buddies. What armor did I... Please don't tell me I bought some expensive leg armor. No, I didn't. Because I had those before. Charisma 8. 19.5. And I think I'm replacing them with Charisma 20. Wow, these are proper plate legs. Excellent stuff. That's what I wanted. That is that is that is the business. That is the shit right there. Okay. Let's get um I guess we go back through Sassel. Oh, I, I can't sell though, can I? I can't sell to the armored guy. Because I've already cleaned him out. But Henry is looking more like a proper knight now. Damn, you know, if only I'd had all these loaded die before I did that hands cape on quest in the in the bathhouse, where I had to play dice against that girl. Roe deer? They don't look like roe deer. Are they red deer? They're red deer, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, just just finding some roe deer around here would be so nice. Just now. And I can do the road deer quest as well. Oh, something else. I don't know if this is true. That I saw just someone uh, commenting this on a Twitter feed. I just happened to notice. And they said that if you're traveling about at night. And if you see some fireflies. You know, little glow bugs in the dark. If you follow the trail of them. They nearly always lead to a grave. So remind me about that when I'm traveling around in the dark later. If I see any fireflies or glowing things. We follow it. Funny how the best stuff is just lying around randomly. I totally agree. As if people just put all this stuff in loot boxes and just leave it in the woods. 
Maybe, maybe Henry's stash in the inn will be in a future DLC. Imagine this game 50 years from now. Henry's died or retired or become a monk or something. And you go playing a new character in a new era. You're wandering around and you burgle inns. And for some reason, these chests are loaded full of plate armor and swords and other people's goods. You know, why would people leave this stuff in a chest? And it's all because Henry's forgotten his stash. That would be quite a nice little touch. Are there bears in this game? I don't think so, Panzer. I haven't met any yet. There's boars, but they're not a threat to you, unfortunately. They're quite, quite placid. You just logged in, you'll meet me in the next village. Okay, Eisenhorn, I'll keep an eye out for you there. I'll be hiding behind the bush with a great big club ready to knock you out and steal your stuff. Just so you know, no hard feelings or anything, it's just business. <laughs> right. I need to get across that river. Am I going the best way? Yeah, I think so. There's a better... Better bridge, isn't there, down here? I don't know if there were bears in this part of the world. I guess there would be at this time. We had bears in the UK until some point in the Middle Ages. Okay, I think that road lead out the back of here. Uh, it doesn't, no, it doesn't. What's this place? Oh, I'm straight into the weaponsmith, aren't I? Whoops, didn't want to be in there. Where the hell do I want to go? Right, we need... Well, I'll just head northeast and I'll find it. The game Subnautica had a curious feature. When you finish the game, you can still find... You can fill a time capsule with loot and guests left it for other players to find. Oh, that's quite cool. I guess you could leave something either really nice and useful that they'd like, or you could just be a shit and leave something completely worthless in there for other people to locate. You know, and they go and dig it up or find it or whatever. I mean, what the hell is this? Why, why have I got, like, a dead fish? Who would leave a dead fish in a time capsule? And then there's a player who left it there, sniggering like Muttley from the Dick Dastardly cartoons. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, hit this road, head north. Look out for bandits. And wayfarers and nests, apparently. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to you too. So, get the bow out. Put some cheap arrows in. So where's the nest? Oh, I see it. See if I can shoot this one down. Oh god, I'm gonna have to. I can't shoot and can't shoot overhead. There we go. We killed the nest, folks. I didn't even get my arrow back. Look at that. There was bear still in most of Europe at this time. You only know because he did a college paper on humans and predators. Oh, that's interesting. So, white feathers. Do they have a use for anything? I'll take them anyway. Probably not. Yeah, that zombie bear in the Far Cry 5 DLC last night. That was a seriously scary bear. The animals in that, that DLC are very hard to take down. river looks so nice. Floaters are like kind of jellyfish, completely useless. Someone stuffed their time capsule full of them. <laughs> that sounds like my kind of guy. I like doing stupid stuff like that. Was this our... Was this the right crossing? Have I just gone over? No, this is it. Okay, so we want to be off this. I'll just get up this hill and immediately turn south, I think. We're going for a wander in the woods. Did anyone ever play a game called Spy vs. Spy? It was on the Nintendo Entertainment System, the 8-bit one. 
So we're going back a bit. But one of my friends introduced me to that, the two-player mode. Ooh, interesting sight. Could have a look around here. And that game was just... It was, it was just so funny. Are these herbs? These look like herbs. I should be able to pick these, but it's not letting me. These definitely look like pickable herbs. And just the fact that you left... Um, sleep and save. I can save... Here, really? Rotten apple. And yeah, you'd like um, you'd leave a bucket of water over the door for someone else to open and and get uh, covered with, or like a, like a boxing glove on a spring behind a picture. The idea was to find some secret documents that the other side might have hidden, and then escape with them. And it was just loads of fun stuff. I used to love that. Setting chaps with the player, yeah, it was good fun, classic game, absolutely loved it. Right, okay, that site wasn't as interesting as it pretended to be. Henry's arm is going to be dirty already, isn't it, from just going around in the woods, in the rain. Okay, folks, let me know if you see anything that I miss. Road deer, in particular. Is that thunder? Is that the first time I've heard thunder in the game? Hmm, we stumbled across a logging camp or something. I wonder if I slept in the hollow of that tree, just for an hour, if anything. I think it might trigger an event, because it's an odd place to be able to sleep. You don't think if you curl up under the tree roots and you sleep, you might get a visit from some stranger? Something? Anyone? Anyone done that? Tried it? Typical. Bloody red deer. Henry's like a politician, wears the nicest clothes and fights evil during the day. Steals everything in sight at night. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite proud of my, uh, my, my Henry. He's like the reverse of a, um, of a crime-fighting superhero, isn't he? By day, boring reporter Henry of Scalitz goes about his daily business. By night, he loots everyone and steals everything that isn't bolted down. Deer hunting spot, that's good to know. But I think you only find red deer in woods, unless I'm very much mistaken. There was a comic from the beginning in the Marvel magazine. You're thinking about the Spy vs. Spy one? That was Mad, Mad Magazine or something like that? Roe deer! We're on. We are on, folks. I was going to ride them down, but uh, no, I'm going to do this on foot because they don't run away from me thanks to my wonderful perks I said they don't run away from me dears they don't run away from me splooch miss will crouch they'll never see me one down I got leveled up in the bow for that as well I'm gonna get his mate now there's me saying road deer never appear in the woods that was way too high just, just sit your ass down, fella. This is good practice for Monster Hunter World. Ah, just, just, this is getting heavy. Sit down. <laughs> Held that a really long time. Uh, hunting arrow and deer kidneys. Don't want the other stuff. One out of four, okay. So, am I technically the bad guy? I don't think so. I see myself as the lovable rogue. I think that's what my my Henry is. He um, he doesn't mean to do bad. It's not his fault he accidentally murders people. He wouldn't murder people if he had the choice. It's just that the developers seem to see fit to put the safely knock out and remain innocent button 
on the same key as the murder button. And I don't know why. It's not my fault I hold it down too long sometimes. Okay, so we've got two out of the four kidneys. This is a nice bit of woodland here. It's different to the rest we've been in. Still looking for that treasure as well. And two more roe deer. Yeah, I'll tell you who I am. I'll tell you exactly who I am. I am Sheriff Hood from the TV series Banshee. That's my Henry. He's a good guy, but he's, he's not quite a good guy. Or is he, he's a good guy, but he's not a good guy. That's, that's the way to put it. Meets out a bit of rough justice. You know, might help himself to the odd bit of loot here and there. Womanises a lot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely Sheriff Hood. <laughs> What's that? What's that I see down there? The hell is that? It's an old broken down shack. It is just a shack. I think this one's on the map, though. We have a look here. Yeah. Um, it's the thing I need is listed pretty much where I put that X. I think, but we'll have a just a quick look around. Discovered a grave. This this is probably it. Get out. Right. Get digging. There you go. He's let the plug out of the bath again. Henry is a real philanthropist. Have you guys seen Banshee, by the way, with Sheriff Hood? You know what I'm talking about? It's an absolutely awesome TV show. Well, the first series was. Um, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen anything of season two yet. Or three. Or four, I think they're up to. Cobweb, Knackered Coif, and Dollmaker Potion. This wasn't such an awesome... Uh, what the hell do you do with that? 15th century fashion item for honourable women for whom going bareheaded was indecent. I don't need to take that, right? There's no benefit to me taking that. I can't... I don't want to give it to anyone. So, do we think that was the treasure? Because that did not feel like uh, a treasure trove to me. Which were we on? We were on... Let's find it. God, man, how much stuff have I got here? No, that doesn't look like a house, does it? I think this should be a bit further to the north, actually. Bit Well, a bit more northeast of me, where I am here. Yeah, it should be more or less in line with this. So let's... That's that wood camp. Let's aim for about here. Well, that's cool. We found a grave. Which is always interesting. No, he didn't say interesting sight, I tell you. I think you're right. I think I'm pretty... I think we're on pretty safe ground with this one. If you're wondering why I'm not riding the horse, I've left the horse over there. So I can go and find it again. And hopefully those deer have respawned at the deer hunting site. So... Eyes open to these. Nope. No herbs to pick. That is. That's got to be a thistle. Surely to God. Yes, it is. But look at look at the pixel perfect positioning to be able to gather it. I find that a little bit annoying on the herbs. I don't see that that's necessary. Because you look at that and you think, oh, it's, there's nothing to pick up there. Is there nothing to pick up or is it because I'm not putting the pointer in the right place? Like that. There. Actually, that was on something else. That wasn't the thistle I was pointing at. Da, 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 da. It's not going to do it, is it? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's just... Oof. That, they could work on that. But that's just a minor annoyance. Okay. Ooh, what's this? It looked like some massive standing stone thing, didn't it, on the map? But it can't be. Unless it's a mine entrance or a cave entrance or something. It 
could be a cave entrance. In which case it's probably going to be in the side of the hill rather than on top of it. Wait, what's this? This looks like some big stone thing that's been here in the past. Standing stones? No? Maybe just lumps of rock. I may be reading too much into it. The hell? What the hell's going on with that hair? Thought we found an epileptic hair there. Okay, I can see the road across the other side, so we, we think it should be somewhere around here. What's this? Great big lump of rock. Hmm. Fallen tree? I think... I think we need another look at the old map. Unless we just carry on up the hill. Let's have a look at the map again. So, I mean, that suggests following a path out of the Dechko and then turning north. This is in the mounds. It's in the hills and the rocks and stuff. It looks like a Stonehenge sort of thing, and it looks like it looks like a cave entrance. So, it really should be somewhere about here, maybe, there is a path that comes in, maybe if I went and found that path and followed it in, I think I should be there, I do think I should be there, northwest, oh wait, <laughs> there we go, I'm right on top of it, and a conciliation cross, Daniel Waters. You discovered a cave. Okay, well I don't think we need the bow and arrow in here. We're going in. Take those. Well, there's no way in. 